Okay, welcome to another lesson. We are continuing looking at uh, the past uh, CASNEB exams and uh, we are looking at questions that were tested uh, uh, touching on calculus. Uh, from our previous videos, we just completed calculus and uh, in this uh, video, we are going to look at a question that was tested in May 2021. Uh, May 2021, and this was question number 1B. Uh, this question carried uh, how many marks? This question carried uh, 10 marks. So, I want to, uh, we want to look at it and see what was expected of you as a student when by the examiner. So the question reads, COP2 World Limited assembles and sells computer. The company estimates that if it is optimally as, uh, assembles computer, it could sell 1,100 and 2,000 computers per month. And the monthly revenue in thousands of shillings are given by this function, 1,000x minus 200x squared, where R is the monthly revenue, x the number of computers sold. The company estimated that the marginal cost, also in thousands of shillings, are represented by the function marginal cost is equals to. This is the marginal cost uh, is equals to 200x squared minus 100 plus 400. Now the fixed cost of the company is 100,000 uh, per month. If it is assumed that the computers assembled in a given month are sold within the same month, you are required come up with the total cost function. Now, uh, the total cost function, for you to get the total cost, you need to find the total revenue. You find the total revenue. Uh, no, this is the total cost function. That means I just need to integrate, sorry. I just need to integrate what? I just need to integrate the marginal cost. This is the total cost function, means that I only need to integrate the marginal cost function. So I'm going to integrate 200x squared minus 100x plus 400. What do you get here? I taught you how to integrate. This is 200x squared plus 1, yeah, divide by 3 minus 100x1 one plus 1 divide by divide by 2 then plus 400x plus c that is the total cost function yeah so the total cost function here i will i will have my total cost is 200 over 3 x cubed minus this is 50 x squared plus 400 x plus c now c c is supposed to be the fixed cost this is the cost when x is zero so i will substitute here and find 200 over 3 x cubed minus 50 x squared plus 400 x then plus 100. Why am I adding 100? I'm adding 100 because the figures were given in the figures were given in thousands of shillings. So this one becomes my cost function. Now, uh, up to that point, I hope you are together. When you want to find the total cost, you just need to integrate the marginal cost. You integrate the marginal cost get the total cost. When you integrate this one, 100x, integrate this one, you get 50x squared. Integrate 400, you get 400x, then there's a constant, and this constant is supposed to be good. Now, um, the next part, you are asked, you come up with the profit function. But how do we get the profit function? How do we get the profit? Now, when you want to find the profit, when you want to find the profit, profit is obtained from total revenue. Total revenue, you subtract total costs. 
That's how we get the profit. We have been given the revenue function above here. We are told that the revenue function is 1000x minus 200x squared. This gives me uh, the revenue function uh, 1000x minus 200x squared. <clears throat> this was the revenue function given in the equation 1000x minus 200x squared. Now, we have calculated the total cost function in part 1 here, which we integrated the marginal cost. So I subtract, at this point, I'm going to subtract the total costs. And what is the total cost function? That is 200 over 3x cubed. This is 200 over 3x cubed minus 50x squared minus uh, 50x squared plus uh, 400x plus 400x plus 100. 400x plus 100. Open the bracket. This is 1000x minus 200x squared minus 200 over 3x cubed. Then plus 50x squared. Then Remember, I'm opening the bracket with the negative outside. That's why you see the signs here is changing. Negative and negative changes the sign. This is minus 400x minus 100. Add the like terms. 400 and this one give me 600x. 600x. 200x squared and this one give me negative 150x squared. This one has no partner. 200 over 3x cubed. And then... Uh, minus 100. That is the profit function. The profit function is obtained by, <coughs> excuse me, uh, total revenue, you subtract total cost. That's how we get the profit function. Total revenue, subtract the total cost. Now, the next part you are asked, you look for uh, optim uh, the optimal monthly output. Now, optimal monthly output, uh, here you are supposed to look the uh, the output when you have the maximum profit. So at this point, uh, pi, which is my profit, is 600x minus 150x squared minus 200 over 3x cubed minus 100. Now, uh, how to find the pi? D pi D x at a maximum profit is zero. So zero is differentiate six hundred minus three hundred x squared minus no this is three hundred x when the power of x reduces by one. This is minus two hundred x squared. Two hundred x squared. Of course when I differentiate a constant give me zero. If I rearrange this equation, this is negative 200x squared minus 300x plus 600. Divide everything by negative what? Negative 100. So 0 is 2x squared plus 3x minus 6. Use the quadratic formula. Uh, by, by use of the quadratic formula, you'll find that x is minus minus 3. I hope at this point uh, you still remember how to use the quadratic formula. This is minus 3. Uh, minus 3 plus or minus uh, 3 squared, which is 9, minus 4ac. 4 times 2 times negative. Uh, 6, this give me 8 times this is 48, divided by 2a, which is 4. So x is minus 3 plus or minus I get 9 plus 48, 9 plus 48, 57 square root, 7.5, this is 7.555, this is 7.55 divided by 4, x equals negative 3 plus or minus, now let, let's simplify here, 7.55 minus 3, 
then divide by uh, divide by 4 because we are supposed to divide by 2 divide by 4 that gives me 1 1.14 now uh, that is the one uh, the optimal output the optimal output eh? that means for you to get the the maximum profit then you need to sell x is equals to 1 point yeah, x is equals 1.14 we now need to find the profit itself what do you do with the profit itself that means you need to look at the profit function the profit function the profit function is equals to 600x minus 150x squared minus 200 over 3 x cubed minus 100 let's substitute our units this will be 1.14 uh, times 600 this gives us uh, this is 684 minus 1.14 squared times 150 this give us 194 194.94 minus 1.14 cubed times 200 divided by 3 this give us 98 98.76 uh, or let me call this one 7 to two decimal places 77 7 minus 100 finally i'll have 684 minus 194.94 minus 98.77 minus 100 this give me uh, shillings 290.29 remember this one why thousands of shillings so we are going to work with them as they are so when you multiply by a thousand, we are going to give you units in thousands of shillings. So that's how you are supposed to solve this question. Uh, remember the first part you are asked, you look for the, the total cost function. And I've said total cost function, you need to integrate the marginal cost so that you get the function. The profit function, you need to know the total revenue minus the total cost. The total revenue function you already given and you have integrated the marginal cost and you have the total cost function subtract the two of them will give you the profit function for the mark the, for the optimum monthly output you differentiate the profit function and then you look for x that will give you the quantities that are going to give you maximum profit and for you to get the maximum profit you substitute the quantities you have obtained here in the profit function so that you get the maximum profit Otherwise, it's goodbye for now. We meet in our next video.